Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Objects 4 in Part 3 of Module 1. So we have Objects 4 is going to be three problems. Uh, remove numbers larger than, although I think it should be greater than, but that's okay. Remove numbers less than, and remove string values longer than. And in each one of these cases, we're going to do something where we need to look at all of the properties of the object. Anytime we want to look at all of the properties of an object, meaning that we don't know exactly which property inside of an object we want to look at, that's a case for iteration. So I'm going to pseudocode out the first one. The rest of them we're just going to kind of do. Also notice remove numbers larger than doesn't seem to have a return value. So we're just going to be going in there and removing properties that meet a certain condition. So first thing we're going to do iterate over obj if current value is a number and let's say is a number and is uh, greater than input num delete current property now current value current property if you recall when we're iterating over an object we're going to use a for in loop. So we'll say for variable key in object. Variable key is almost the same as a variable declaration where key is going to be assigned to a string version of all of the keys inside of object. From that we can get the value by just object at key. Now you wouldn't write it there of course but just to see it in place. I'm going to get rid of that and let's wrap this. If the current value is a number, so if type of and the current value is object at key, because key is the current key, object is the object we're iterating over, so accessing the object over which we're iterating at the current key will give us the current value. Um, okay, let, let's alias. So one of the things you can do is you can create a variable inside of here to give yourself an idea of what the value is. So this is not really gonna change anything, it's just gonna give us an easier, uh, what would you call it? I would use moniker, but not everybody knows what that means because, well, actually, I'm not 100% sure what moniker means, but just a name for it, that, that, that'll serve. So we'll say if the type of value is equal to number and value is greater than num, then we want to delete the current property. So we'll say delete object at key. So that should be it. Real quick, all we're doing here is giving ourselves an easier way to refer to object at key. So this is the same as saying type of object at key is equal to number and object at key is greater than num and then delete object key. This can be useful for uh, situations where objects and arrays get nested in complicated structures. It can be a little bit easier to understand what you're dealing with if you give it something like an alias. Um, otherwise, you don't really need to, but just wanted to show that functionality. So, run the tests, we're correct. So we're not gonna pseudo code out the rest of these, we're just gonna write the code itself. So if we wanna remove numbers less than, it's almost the exact same problem, for variable key in object. I'm not gonna do the alias this time. So we'll say if object at key, when we apply type of to it, gives us a number. And this is important because we don't really wanna delete the number or check to see if it's less than something if it's not a number. For example, Montana, we don't really need to care about anything related to Montana, at least for this problem. So if type of object at key is equal to a number and object at key is less than the input num, then we're going to, and I'll just keep it at two spaces because, uh, well, it makes me happy. So delete object at key under these conditions. So for variable key and object, if type of object at key is equal to a number and object at key is less than num, then delete the object at that key. Actually, that's not how you say it. You would say delete the value located in the object at the given key. So we're still in good shape. Write a function called remove string values longer than. A uh, very similar idea here, but instead of looking for numbers, we're going to be looking for strings. And instead of checking the value directly, we're going to need to get the length of the value because the value is itself a string. So iterating over the object is going to be a very similar idea for variable key in object. If, first thing, we're going to check to see if the type of the current value, which is object at key, 
is equal to a string and object at key dot length because at this point we know that the object at the given key is a string. In fact, if this evaluates to false, this part of the condition isn't actually even going to run. So we don't really need to worry about any condition on this side of it other than when the object at the given key that we're currently iterating over is a is a string. So object at key dot length needs to be longer than the input num. And if it is, we're going to delete object at key. So iterate over the object, check if the current values type is a string, and that the length of that value is greater than the input number, because that's basically what the function is asking us to do. If those are the case, delete the object at the key. Again, no return value here, at least no indicated return value, so we don't need one. Let's run the tests, and we're good. Excellent work, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.